Hello YouTube, it's the Omega A31 and welcome to part 3 on how to make a Minecraft 1.2.4 bucket server. And in today's lesson I'm going to show you how to download, install, and configure plugins for your server. So the first thing we need to do is go to our web browser. Go to a search engine of your choice and type in bucket and here just click on the first link bucket forums and over here on the right side click get plugins and then for the demonstration of this video I will do let's see what will I do I will do showcase Showcase is a shop plugin. It's a really nice plugin. I have it for my server and I do like it a lot. So, what you do is you just read all the little details about the plugin, make sure there's no incompatibility issues and whatnot, and also what plugins this plugin will work well with, like an economy plugin in this case, since it is a shop plugin. So what you do is you just click download showcase jar and if you save it and it saves as a RAR instead of a jar file when you save it uh, just delete it and then resave it and when you when you're saving it just type slash or um, I will show you actually because it's kind of confusing myself explaining it. So you go here, when you save it, you just add .jar at the end, and then you save. All right. So once you have it saved, let's see here. Okay, so once you have it saved, you can drag and drop it into your plugins folder and there's mine right there so it's inside your plugins folder run your server and you gotta add these permissions to the group that you want to be able to use those certain commands or actions inside ga in the game so to create a basic showcase this is the permission node you would use. So to add this permission to a group, you go to Plugins, Group Manager, Worlds, World, right-click on Groups, Edit with Notepad++, and what you're going to want to do is okay so say uh, let's see recruit this is the basic group the, I mean the default group as you can see there so we will type oops. now these are spaces these are not tabs you have to space over four times from the the margin here put a little dash space show case dot basic and there you go that's the permission for that uh, all right so <clears throat> let me show you guys how to read this so the this is the group name or the as you want to call it the rank uh, default set this to true uh, that means that when someone joins your server for the first time that this is the rank they'll start out as or the group permissions these are all the permissions nodes that this group has access to now the ones with the two dashes next to it that disallows them to have permission to that command and in some situations with factions you have to do this for certain yeah, for certain plugins you'll have to completely disallow the permission so that's why there's two dashes and you can change all this if you want to uh, yourself um, 
So, if we scroll down here to where it says inheritance, inheritance, uh, since this is the default group, it doesn't inherit from anything. So, let me show you a better, better, okay, veteran. Veteran, uh, I don't know if that's a good one. Officer, officer. This is the second high, uh, second rank. So after they get promoted from recruit, they become an officer. So officers have access to a few more commands than the default group uh, recruit. And their inheritance is recruit. So what rec what that does is it gives all the permissions from the re recruit group to the officer group so you don't have to retype all those you're just getting all the permissions from this group already by doing this saves a lot of time so under the info where it says prefix this is what will show up in front of your name in game so that's this is what uh, the color codes here this is what will show up in game you can change these color codes I'm not gonna go over color codes you can google that Build, set this to true if you want them to be able to build. And suffix, this is what comes after the name. All right, so just add these permission nodes to whatever group you want. They even give descriptions on what they what they do and which group they're usually used for. So these are usually used for like player. This one's for operator and operator so the player ones are more like general command commands and the operator is more like administrative commands <clears throat> all right so once you've done that you just exit and save changes i'm not going to save it though um and that's pretty much it that's how you add permissions Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up. Please join my server. And please rock on playing Minecraft. Peace.